everybody, Jay and Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym, and I'm here doing her very first Road to the Olympia with IFBB Bikini Pro. Lauren Dana Miller. But it's your second time here at the gym. Yes, yes, I was here for the Road to the Pittsburgh Pro back in May. So yeah, second time. But you filmed, we filmed in April, right? Did we film in April? Yeah, because okay. the contest was April 30th, May 1st. Okay, yes, yes, I was here back in April. That's an infamous day that we just won't, we're just going to gloss over right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that but, was, that was, uh, it was great being here at the gym and everything. I mean, it was my first time here and it was, it was amazing. We had a good time. All right. So from then until now, you actually come in and this is the first time I've seen it since I've been away that we have a whole bunch of brand new machines here to train oh, on. Oh, yeah. So. Will I be the first person on it today? Yes. Ooh, yay. <laughs> yeah, be the first person to train on them too. Cool, awesome. Yeah, they're really beautiful and new. So the machines, you might recognize them when you see them because if you were in the Olympia last year, it's the same company that uh, supplied all the equipment from last year. Matter of fact, a couple of the pieces actually still have the Olympia logo on Oh, wow. So they actually had these pieces in, in the back? Yeah. Oh, wow. They had a full gym back there. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. See, so you'll see that this year. Oh, cool. So you yes. get like a full-on workout before getting well, I don't think you're doing a full-on workout. You're just supposed to just, you're supposed to be ready that day, but I'm just I, saying. I know. But like people, they have like people working glutes and stuff back there on the machine. If they wanted to do a little warm-up. Yeah. I mean, maybe not the bikini, but maybe the bodybuilding and stuff. But nice. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So that's it. All right. So going to your first Olympia, how's it feel? Yeah. Uh, it, I can't believe it. I mean, I've been competing. This is going to be my seventh year. And I've been going after um, getting qualified for the Olympia th my third season, like as a pro. So this being my first ever Olympia, I am just so excited. I'm so pumped. I, you know, last year... I went and watched the Olympia and I sat there in pre-judging and I'm like, I'm gonna be up there next year. I'm gonna do everything to be up there and just in about three weeks, I'll be up on that stage. So it's getting real, it's getting real. Is it, does it feel good that it's in Florida so you're not that far away from it actually, right? Yeah, it's really- Are you driving there? I'm just driving, it's like an hour away. Yeah, super close. No stress. No, no stress. No travel stress. You can bring everything you want. I know. Bring your food, bring your coolers, <laughs> yeah. microwave. Yeah, you know. I have my car. I mean, that's just nice right there. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, since Pittsburgh, what have you been up to? Yeah, okay. So, since Pittsburgh, you know, a lot actually ha has been going on, you know, with, with me. Um, when I hit 12 weeks out, from the Olympia, um, my dad passed away. So it's it's been really challenging, honestly. I didn't think I was gonna be able to continue in prep, but you know, something just came over me that I, I'm doing this for him and I feel him with me. And it's, I, honest guys, it's, it's been hard. It's really, <laughs> it's been a struggle for me. Um, but every time I'm having kind of one of those down days or I don't feel like doing my cardio or I'm like really dragging in the gym, I just know my dad is like literally right there going, Lauren, don't give up. Like, keep going, keep going. And I'm sorry. Yeah, no. it's, um, it's been hard and, but, um, I'm doing, I'm doing this prep for him. And I know when I walk across that Olympia stage, he's going to be right there with me. Um. Because he wanted to come, he hasn't seen me compete since my first bodybuilding show, and um, he was going to go to the Mr. Olympia, and but I know he'll be with me. I know he's watching over me, he's guiding me. So honestly, that's it's been going on ever since Pittsburgh Pro. Um, but I've been working hard, I've been training, I've been trying to improve with the feedback that I got back, and I think I'm going to bring my best ever physique and i'm excited so so the last contest you competed in was this year what it was pittsburgh pro right yep. i'm just saying this because people probably weren't sure yep and she qualified at the clash yep 
winning the overall. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's how I got qualified. And then I already committed to Pittsburgh, so that's why I did Pittsburgh after the clash. Well, everybody has to some. Uh, to me, everyone should do Pittsburgh. Yes. Okay, yeah. and, and I always say this, and people go, "Oh, it's because it's your dad's show." Well, yeah. yes and no, because as you, as I even told you, when you look down at that panel, right? Mm -hmm. That's a panel that judges the Arnold and Olympia, the judging yeah. panel. Everybody yeah. on that panel, yeah. so you can get critiques, and I mean, win or lose, you should still get critiques, yeah. right? And get the, get the get really good feedback, right? Yeah. No, I got I got great I got great feedback from that show. So that's why I was like, okay, well, let me not compete before the Olympia. I just want to do all those improvements I can. Cause I had a pretty decent amount of time, like in an off season. I had like twelve weeks, like in an in a in a growing like improving phase, and then I started my Olympia prep when I was like ten weeks out. Um, so I think. Those, those 12 weeks of, of training hard, eating more food, doing less cardio, I think I, I was able to put on some more muscle in the areas where I needed to. Right. Yeah. So we are how many days out? Because I'm sure you know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I know we're, three, we're over three weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. I don't know how many days, though. How many days? Uh -huh. I think it, we're in the 20s, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's, it's coming in quick. Yeah. Like 25 or, I mean. It's close. It's, it's close. It's close. It's close. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, before we started filming how the, the Olympia, it just seems like all of a sudden it's here, right? Yeah. It's like, because last year we waited so long until December. Yeah. Right? It's now, oh, now this year it's like, oh, geez, like, it's less than a month away. Yeah, it's like I think about the weekends I have home. I'm like, okay, I only have like three more weekends or maybe two like at home before the Olympia so right oh, wow oh yeah. my gosh it's here it's here it's here it's here <laughs> so uh now another fun thing is we're gonna be doing a shoot after the Olympia yeah oh my god second time yes thank you from, uh, from Miami shoot yeah to this one yeah because we did the Miami Beach in 2019 and Which ironically was the very last one we've done because we haven't been able to get back there basically. I know. Like we did the curly hair girl shoot, but that was really down in Biscayne Bay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And we went, you know, you saw we went out on the boat. That looked fun. That <laughs> you girls looked like you had a ton of fun on that boat. <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> I know. I've been watching the interviews that you guys been doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, shoot, shoot after the Olympia, and then where is that going to be? That's going to be if you saw last year, uh, the um, it's called West Art Walls in Orlando. Mm -hmm. It's where a bunch of it's a person that owns his property, and he lets graffiti artists paint all the walls. Yeah, we did that. We did that last year with uh, Jen Dory, yeah. with Edsla Santiago, Sue Aramayo, Aramayo, and Francesca Stoico. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, cool! I'm excited. Yay. Yeah, yeah. So and it's it's a unique place. It's in Orlando. It's nowhere near the hotel. It's, okay. it's it's in the actual proper city of Orlando. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm excited. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for inviting me. So it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And um, now we just talked about this. Since right now. This is after the qualifications are done for the 2021 Olympia. So everybody's back to zero points, except for those that have won the Olympia who are qualified for life. So after the Olympia, do you have any plans to jump into any contest? Oh, man. Or is, the, or, or is the plan yeah. to go in and you win the Olympia and then you don't got to worry about it? Oh, well, heck yeah. That's the goal. I'm okay. coming in and winning, winning. That's what I want. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's always good to have, like, a plan I don't want to compete before because I just want to focus on the Olympia. Like, I just want to enjoy the process of getting to Olympia. So, I know there's a few shows, like, before the Olympia. Right. Um, but I'm saying after the Olympia. Yeah, so, after, I think so. I, I think I will. Um, so, or are you just going to, we're going to wait and see what happens in Orlando. I'm going to wait and see, but it wouldn't be a bad idea just because I'm, I'm in contest shape and... There are some shows kind of near me that I could potentially do, 
Um, if not, I'll for sure do the clash, probably. I'll come back for that one. Well, listen, <laughs> I've always been of the theory, if you win a title, you should keep defending that title until yeah. you lose it. Yeah. And it, it was a good show, too. It's yours. Yeah, yeah. So, Joe, get ready. <laughs> have, have Lauren's uh, space ready for her. Yeah, I love being Miss World Clash. It's a cool title. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. So, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to while we're standing here? Um, shout out. Well, probably my boyfriend, Kyle, because he's been coaching me since, like, I wouldn't be where I am today without him. And we are just such a good team. And he's he's been here this this whole couple months have been absolutely like crazy um and he's really been a huge support for me so thank you kyle i love you and thank you so much for everything you do for me um and helping me get to the mr olympia stage finally um but and what's the name of your team though give team, a shout out for your team. team cosmic bodies that is our coaching team so if you're interested in working with me you can reach out and I would love to coach you, whether you are trying to get ready for a bodybuilding show or you're a first time competitor, or you want to lose body fat or put on muscle, um, you can always reach out and I would love to help you. So then get, get you through your Instagram page and the team page, right? Yep, yep, at Lauren Dana Miller and then at Team Cosmic Bodies. There you go. All right, anybody else? Um, I, mean, I think I think that's really it. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I have my supplement sponsor, Team um, Legion Athletics. I've been with them for four years now, and um, I with Angel Competition bikinis, the Shoe Fairy, Pro Tan. I mean, all those people right there really helped me out to get ready for the stage. So yeah, yeah. So you're excited. I'm excited. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Well, listen. We're gonna do some more filming here, but the next time you're gonna see Lauren is gonna be on stage in Orlando oh at the Bikini Olympia. Wow. Yes, that's where you'll see me next, okay? All right, so J.M. Mannion. Lauren Dana Miller. Signing off for AmpiCNewsOnline.com. <laughs>